scary for most people who are not walking in the way of our Creator, not walking on the narrow path. Here in Jude 1 verse 4, he says, For there are certain men, crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained this condemnation, wicked men, turning the grace of our Elohim into lavishlessness, and denying the only Adonai, Elohim, and our Adonai, Yahusha, Hamashiach. So there, there we have a thing where he says that, People, wicked men, are turning the grace of our Elohim into lavishlessness. And how? what is lavishlessness? Lavishlessness is basically wickedness. They're turning the grace of our Elohim into nothing. They're basically taking our Creator and slapping Him on the face, telling, putting Yahusha back on the cross by saying the laws are on the cross, that they don't matter, when clearly here it obviously does matter when He says that we're taking, that there are people that we need to be aware of, that we need to watch out for, that are going to say that the laws of, the laws of our Elohim are on the cross, that we can do whatever we want. He says, people are going to take the grace of Elohim and throw it away. They're just going to take it. They're going to not accept it. They are going to despise it because Yahusha came to redeem us so that we did not die in eternal life. So that was a true forgiveness, not so we had to keep doing sacrifices. And not there wasn't the reason of just getting it done with the Torah because he knew we couldn't keep it because we can keep it. And it's easy to keep, he says in 1 John 5, 3. He says, my Torah is simple. It is not a burden. It is easy to keep. And it's a very easy thing. There's nothing hard in it. And if Yahuwah himself said it's not a hard thing, and even his servant said it's not a hard thing, there's nothing hard in it. There's nothing that is going to stop you from living everyday life. There's nothing that's going to make you not be able to be a happy person unless you're sitting there and having enjoyment in pork or enjoyment in drinking the blood of things of that sort. And those are all wicked things. Those are abominations in the eyes of our Creator. So read your Bibles. I will see you in the next one.